Hello and welcome. Let's quickly just have a look at Azure Sentinel workbooks. Uh, once you're logged in, if you look on the left hand side, uh, you should be able to see a sub menu for workbooks. This will automatically take you there. Uh, the first tab that would open up is templates. Next to that, you would see my workbooks. All right, you have the option to add a workbook, of course, or you can add one of the templatized workbooks over here. We're talking about dashboards and visual representation of data, trends and anomalies that are essential for day-to-day -day work. In Azure Sentinel, workbooks contain a large pool of possibilities for usage, ranging from simple data presentation to complex graphing and investigative maps for resources. Out of the box, Sentinel already comes with dozens of workbooks. It also allows for custom workbooks to be created based on the user's vision and use case. Azure Sentinel allows you to create custom workbooks across your data, and it also comes in with built-in workbook templates to allow you to quickly gain insights across your data as soon as you connect the data source. Right? So bear in mind, in order to do this, you at least need Azure Sentinel workbook reader or workbook contributor permissions uh, on this uh, specified resource group in order to be able to engage or deploy workbooks Let's have a look at this. We, once again, we'll go back to our main page of um, just supposing we logged into Sentinel. If we looked on the left hand side, um, we'll click on the workbook section. As you can see, it opens up the screen for a whole lot of different templates. Uh, I've got a couple of updates that I need to do over here. You can see that uh, for different vendors, there are many different types of workbooks that we can um, use, you know, just so that we can, you know, go ahead and you know, do what we need to do. Let's let's have a look and see if we can simply just uh, you know uh, install or just deploy one simple workbook. Let's let's have a look at this uh, security alerts. Let's have yeah. Let's click on save. Yeah. To and just of course select the uh, the region in which this is being saved. Now we'll wait for this to validate. All right, cool, so that's done. So if you look on the left, we'll be able to see, hey, there we go, security alerts. It's now appeared over here. Cool, so we can go ahead and view the saved workbook. All right, so this should take us to the main page of the actual workbook itself. All right, you can see, you know, immediately what comes up is the, uh, we, we can select the range, uh, the time that we can, uh, that we'd like to see, you know, for the security alerts. You know, we can choose the severity, um, you know, and of course, it, it seems like the item in this case, probably the workspace. They have some nice graphics. This is, of course, a very, very basic one because there's not much that is ingested into this environment. Uh, let's quickly go and have a look at a different one. Let's look at Azure Activity. We'll click on View Saved Workbook. Cool. So this tells us a bit more. Um, you can see my workspace over here. It's giving us a figure. All right. You know, there's two providers. This is what I'm ingesting. You can see you know, a time chart over here with activities over time. Uh, this is, you know, of course, uh, more in-depth detail with regards to deletions, creations, and blah, blah, blah. You can pretty much sum up what, you know, what this workbook is all about. So this, these are very um, not too detailed workbooks. Uh, well, let's go into something. Maybe we can find something, you know, even better in threat intelligence, you know, just to get a nice even view. Okay, so this is... Uh, a lot better than what we were seeing previously, a lot different. This is with regards to files, alerts, IPs, and so forth, indicators imported into Sentinel. The best part about it is you could even add your own workbook. So, so let's go ahead and add our own workbook just for testing. We'll click on Add Workbook. Oh, it comes up with a little template here for us to use. We'll click on Edit. All right, that gives us now permissions to go ahead and edit the graph and whatever stated there. We'll click on Edit, all right, over here. And I'm just going to go and I'm just going to look for security alerts. I'm just going to do take five, you know. Um, I'm just going to run that query. And it's going to generate some info for me, hopefully. Um, yeah, now I'm just going to select a bar chart by the visualization. Okay, cool. There's something there. Let's change this to perhaps a line chart. All right, cool. So, you know, once I've concluded that I'm done with this workbook, um, I'll just click on done editing and, of course, save. All right, and there I've got a little workbook. It doesn't show much, but it's something. If this video was a little bit helpful, please leave us a like. Anyway, cheers. Goodbye.